Everything you did in this camp was with a purpose. What was the intent of bulking up to the heaviest of your career at 238 pounds? Well, you know, the weight just came on, you know, just I wanted to look sexy and feel sexy. I taste sexy as well. You know, uh, I'm bitch pressing over a little over 350, so whatever his weight come in, I can lay on my back and lift him. So it won't be none of that, you know, brushing me and putting all this weight on me and different things like that. But most of all, man, we just wanted to have fun in camp. Uh, it was a joyful camp. It was a, it was a loving camp. And we had a lot of great, great time, you know what I mean? Uh, the time that we was giving, you know, it was advantage for us to be able to train and uh, to, make, uh, to make things, uh, they say we practice for perfect, and some would say you practice for permanent, and that's what we did. There's a stillness about you. You mentioned the word calm. How important is calm in getting a victory over Tyson Fury on Saturday night? Calm, calmness is the key to the storm. You know, um, I know that when I'm not calm, my, uh, my mind is cloudy. So when your mind is cloudy, it allows you to make uh, bad decisions. But when you're calm, you can weather the storm. When you're calm, you're able to see certain things and you're able to decide, make great decisions. And I'm, I'm, re I, I, I'm looking to be calm this fight so I can make the great, uh, great decision, so I can show the people what I'm all about. We have rejuvenated myself. We reinvented myself. Redemption is upon us. And uh, I can't wait to show the world what I'm all about. I'm reintroducing myself to the world as Deontay Wilder. Thank you very much. We're all looking forward to that fight. Now I walk over to Tyson Fury, the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. Tyson, you're both the heaviest that you've ever weighed. He answered what it meant for him to be this heavy. What does it mean for you to be this heavy on Saturday night? It means total obliteration of a dosser. Total annihilation. That's what it means to me. 277 pounds. I'm going to put him in the Royal Infirmary after this fight. Don't worry about that. Now, you changed drastically for the rematch with Sugar Hill Stewart in your corner. What kind of changes and improvements do you expect in Deontay now that he's got Malik Scott in his corner? Nothing. It's one shit house teaching another shit house how to fight. Both a pack of losers and the both ain't worth a sausage. So he couldn't teach him anything. Man couldn't fight himself. He was a shit house. So when you got a shit house teaching another shit house how to fight, you're in for a real pack of shit house cowards. Look at the state of him. His heart's rattling now. His balls have sunk up inside of him. There's a man here that's going to annihilate your daughter. Me, the Gypsy King. Tyson Fury's the name. And fucking fighting's the game. There ain't a man born from his mother's cunt can beat the Gypsy King. Never mind a sausage like that there. Well, we apologize for the language, but for the rematch, you predicted exactly what would happen against Deontay. And Tyson, just a final question. How do you envision this trilogy ending? With him severely hurt on the floor, smashed to bits. Looks like he's been run over by an 18-wheeler truck. He was complaining last time he had a cracked skull and an injured arm. Oh, I can't wait for Saturday night. I'm going to really severely damage him. He'd be unrecognizable after the fight. His little pretty wife down there will not recognize him. Don't worry about that. I'll send him home butchered like a butcher's block. All right, thank you very much. Well, we've heard from Tyson.